All right, so my mom and I just landed in Vancouver and checked into our hotel. And today we're actually gonna be doing some figure shopping. I'm dragging my mom along so, <laughs> so she can be my camera woman. But uh, yeah, we are in Vancouver. You can see the beautiful view behind me. And today we're gonna be going to Hobby Bee. I'm super excited to work with them again. I worked with them for a video a few months ago, maybe a month or two ago. And now I get to meet them in person. I've been to their store once before and it was really nice. So I'm excited to go back today and uh, shop with you guys a little bit. So yeah, I guess let's head over there now. Right, so we took the train and now we are just walking up to the store. It's not too far from the, I think it was the 29th Ave station that we went to, so taking public transit, always nice. Uh, we're gonna get to the shop soon. And I've got my mom here to help me <laughs> record. She's also carrying my bag because I have my tripod with me, so. <laughs> I see it. And here it is. Okay, let's go inside. All right, hello everyone. I'm here with Mary at Hobby Bee. Uh, this is my second time coming into the store actually, but I'm super excited to be doing this video with Hobby Bee. So if you want to introduce yourself a little bit, Mary. Hi, Mary. I'm Mary and I work for Hobby Bee and then mainly in charge with marketing and communications. And um, Hobby Bee started as an online store in 2018. And then uh, we actually opened up this physical store last year, July. So 2018, July. Yeah, awesome. It's so nice to have a physical store out yes. west because yes. I think most of the stores are in Ontario. So mm -hmm. it's really nice to have something a little closer to Alberta. I mean, <laughs> I still have to fly here, but it's been fun to visit. Mm -hmm. So yeah. So do you want to show us around the shop? Yes. Show course. us all your yes. merchandise. So as you can see here, in our display case is mostly um, the collections from our team. <laughs> so we oh, have two cool. display cases here and then one inside. Neat. Yeah, and then um, a lot of customers do come in and they see the items inside and often ask if they're on sale. Unfortunately, they're not. <laughs> <laughs> so, but the ones with the price tags, they're out. Oh, okay, cool. That'd be nice. I have way too many items in my house. I'd love to have a store where I could just like put some of my collection. Do you display all of your collections? Yeah, I have everything displayed. I have a lot of shelves. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then here are mostly our, of course, our scale figures are over here and the fine boxes. And um, these are mainly from Mega House and Bandai. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I love you guys have a lot actually it's so nice to see them in real life because it's so hard to judge like scale mm -hmm. and just honestly yeah, what they look exactly. like when you look online so mm -hmm. it's so nice when you can like come in person and actually see the figures like I imagine these figures being so much smaller like mm -hmm. these look up ones like these guys I imagine them being so much smaller than they actually are so it's, it's nice to see in real life yeah the size of everything and yeah for the owners, I think when they, they started out as collectors as well, right? Mm -hmm. And then so they were finding a lot of the items they wanted, they didn't carry it in, like they can't find it in um, Canada. Mm -hmm. So they often have to go to the States or to look for the stores in Japan to find them. Yeah. So then, yeah, so they know it's quite hard, like, yeah, finding them here mm -hmm. in Canada. And also, lets me know how big the boxes are <laughs> because oh man it's actually a shock sometimes how big some of these figure boxes are so i know so our flat rate shipping actually works yeah out to be, it's yeah, really nice yeah Ooh, and so then yeah my favorite <laughs> scale figures oh. yeah, i was looking on your guys's website you have a few in stock where i'm like yeah. oh i want those ones what are your oh. favorite ones um i well i I own actually a lot of these ones. I, know, I, I have know. this one. I've got this one. Polo. Polo's my favorite character. Uh -huh. I love her. Uh -huh. um, I was eyeing your Spirit Tail Miku's uh -huh. over here online. Uh -huh. Oh, this Sonico. I love this Sonico too. <laughs> She's so cute. You see? Yeah. Oh my god, I love her. 
but yeah i love these ones i've been eyeing this one i don't have a sakura miku in my collection so i've been i've had my eye on this one for a while she's so pretty mm -hmm. and oh my god this one is huge wow so nice yeah i love seeing them in real life it's just so much more fun <laughs> And they're so detailed. Mm-hmm. So would you say that your customers buy a lot of scales or nendoroids or...? Um, I think it's everything. Yeah. Like the model kits, the mm, Gundam, yeah. that's quite popular, right? Yeah. And then our scale figures, always, um, nendoroids. Yeah, I would say everything. Yeah. It's just, oh, it's so nice to have stuff in Canada. And then the flat rate shipping is so nice, especially... <laughs> Like, would this even have flat rate shipping? Yes. Wow. Well, I think so. <laughs> I have to double check, but yeah. But yeah, like, uh, when I ordered from here for my last mm -hmm. video, the box was big and I was mm -hmm. like $14 shipping. Yeah. Amazing. Because yeah. from Japan, it would have been like I know. 200 oh. plus dollars. Like, yeah. ugh. And then it's good when people have like multiple orders mm. and then they store it in our storage oh. and then they wait for everything to come and then ship all at once. That's yeah. super nice. Yeah. Oh, and then you guys have Warhammer as well. Yes, I have friends that do these. Are these ones yeah. you have to paint yourself? Or do they no, come? No, they come like that. Oh, cool. Oh, yeah. Neat. So, yeah. If I have any Warhammer fans, mm -hmm. those are pretty cool. I, I have a couple friends that are really into that. So. And then, oh, obviously the bunnies. The bunnies. Yes. <laughs> you love bunny I love bunnies. I like the bunnies. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so many. There's so, so many. Yeah. <laughs> you have a Ruru. I want her. I didn't pre order her. Whoa. I think my mom, I was showing her the figures. I'm like, oh, which ones do you like? She liked this one up here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So many nice bunnies. Their boxes are huge. Oh my they god. Are, they Especially are. your Ruru's. Oh my god. That box is massive. Can you see how big that box is? <laughs> Crazy. And then Kotobukiya over mm -hmm. here? Mostly. Yes. Mostly. Very, very nice. good. I don't think I have to show you your <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and then the Gundam model. Yeah, I don't figures. know much about Gundam. Yeah, so. these are for younger mm -hmm. people, yeah. I see. So are they like pre-built already? They are, yes. Okay. Yeah. So they're figures. When you build them yourself, do they are they like posable? Like do they move typically? Um, or? Some do. Yes. Yeah. And some yeah. No. I just got this uh a catchy one. I love that figure. Ooh, they have I've been debating picking up the Rex because I have Ahsoka mm -hmm. and I feel like I need a Rex to go with her. But so many pretty ones. And then a lot of pop-up parades. Yes, are they pretty pop popular? They are. They are quite popular. <laughs> These ones here. They're like Good Smiles budget line. But they're I've I've actually been pretty impressed. They I feel like their quality started off kind of rocky, mm -hmm. but I got a few recently and I was like, wow, these are actually yeah. really nice. So yeah, I think with them, it's it's quite hard to ship them actually because oh, really? of the boxes. Oh, they're so soft. Ah, uh, yeah. So sometimes, yeah, they get squished they get in squished, transit. So Got a you have to be extra up. careful with them. I have the Chico one. Oh yeah, you guys mm -hmm. have it too. That goes with her. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know much about this section here. Oh, um, so the figure, figure art, or figmas. Mm. I mean, and then the figure arts. And so these are all like kind of action figure, yes. posable figures. Yes. And then, and more yeah, scales. More, and then more pop-ups here. Oh wow, you guys have a huge selection. Yes. Mm. This is the best pop-up parade in my opinion. The holo. I think she turned out so nice. Like, just such a pretty figure. Hey? I love this figure. Such a good price too. Good. Oh, this one's gorgeous. Can you see? Isn't that cute, Mom? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Showing Mom all the sexy girl figures and be like, look, wow. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Is mom a collector as well? No. <laughs> I feel like my whole life though she aided my collecting. Like when yeah. I was a kid, I would get like the My Little Ponies. Mm -hmm. And mom would get me all the all the ones from the set or the Winx Club. I'd mm -hmm. have all the girls from the show. Mm -hmm. So you you started it. Sorry. <laughs> Not sorry. <laughs> so how do you typically I was kind of interested in this. How do you typically get the figures from the distributors? Do you request like a set amount of figures? Or how does it work really? Like do you 
open pre-orders for a figure? And yes, then... we do or open pre-orders. And then it depends on what they have, right? Mm. And then what's coming out. And then, so the pre-orders for us, um, we order, or sorry, we set out the pre-order deadlines and then we see how many um, orders we get. And then we let the manufacturer or suppliers know. And then I know some stores, they, they set out a certain amount. Mm. And then once it's fulfilled, they close the order and yeah so mm. we do it the other way yeah because i'm always curious how that works exactly because mm. i know some stores just leave the pre-orders open forever some yeah. close after a certain date yeah. so so we so usually well yeah we'll, we'll close it but then um for some of the items we might order extras if it's popular mm. and then so it's always good to just ask if we've ordered more and if we can fulfill it yeah yeah that's smart because mm. I always, I, one thing I really like about like Canadian retailers, uh, especially is sometimes you guys will have stock of figures that are sold out in Japan already. Mm -hmm. So I'll like miss a pre-order or I'll forget about a figure mm -hmm. and I'm like, oh no, like how am I going to get it? And then I go in here and I'm like, oh, okay, you guys have it's it. Here. <laughs> it. That's why I'm glad I don't live here because I would come in here and see all these figures and I'd be like, oh, I'm going to buy that. Oh, I'm going to buy that. Like most of the, like us who work in the store, mm -hmm. collectors as well. So you know how hard it is to work here? <laughs> yes. It's like... It's dangerous. Eh? <laughs> Our paycheck goes back here. <laughs> mm -hmm, yeah, mine definitely would. Yeah. I got some Radio Ava as well. Are these the color version? Or? The color, are they colored? The color version? The black and white. Oh, I think, mm -hmm. I think there is one of each. Uh, and then... Our Nendroids. Wow. <laughs> You guys have a lot. Mm -hmm. My boyfriend would love this. He loves Nendoroids. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I was quite surprised when I first got my first Nendoroid. I was surprised with how detailed they are. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh my god, this one's so cute. I didn't even know she had one. I love this. She's a Chinese vocal vocaloid or B singer, I guess they're called. Look how cute. I've never even seen this one before. Adorable. And they're actually pretty fairly priced too. Mm -hmm. Uh, do the manufacturers typically set the price, or uh, they have there... a set price, and of course we have a price. Yeah, yeah. because <laughs> you gotta pay that. Yeah, have yeah. a store. Yeah. But yeah, I, I've noticed that like in North America, the prices for figures can fluctuate like so much, and mm -hmm. some stores are just ridiculously overpriced. Yeah. Um, but I found you guys have been very fair, especially with the flat rate shipping. Mm -hmm. It actually comes out to like relatively close to uh, Japan mm -hmm. versus like if I order from American sites. It's not even worth it. Like the prices are just ridiculous. So yeah, and then in store right now our online promotion is the same as in store mm. now for the Nendroid. So you buy one and you get the second one for twenty percent off. Yeah. So for in store it's ongoing. So it's pretty good. Yeah. I might have a few of these. I'm sure you guys have some some mi Miku's that I want. I'm such a sucker <laughs> for Miku, Miku and Androids. Yeah, and just Miku in general. Oh, yeah, there's a few racing ones over there. All right, have we have we made our loop around yeah. the store? <laughs> so there's, um, yeah, and then our Gundam model section. Oh. And our scale, uh, what's this? Scale you come along this way, Mom. So these are all the Gundams? Yes, the model kits. But not just Gundams, so there are other... There's other model other kits, model, too. Yes. But oh. mainly... Um, do you know about them? Or? I really don't know much about model kits. Yeah, because they're quite popular and they don't really get old. Mm -hmm. Like I have two older brothers and then I grew up with them around the house. Yeah. So, yeah. And then I see you and have then, some tools and yes, stuff as well. Tools, yes. Whoa. And then the one six scale. Oh, so it's some of these like... So there's um the action figures. And then there's also there's Naruto, like some anime oh, stuff. So there's some anime stuff. Is it like a doll, kind of? He's got like fabric clothes. Oh it's kind God. of like oh yeah, this, but yeah. Isn't that cute? Graham would probably like that. She likes Naruto. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Yeah, and then this is this is the. Another one that you can find on Netflix. But, um, uh, yes, oh, I love that anime. Is yeah, this Cayman? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's so cool. This, I've I think I've seen pictures of this like doll. I don't know what to call it. I don't know what to call it. I just like associate yeah. anything with fabric clothes. I'm yeah, like, that's I a doll. <laughs> we opened this space with this room up 
uh, I think beginning of this year. Oh, okay. Because so when I was yeah. here in October, I, it wasn't open, I didn't right? Come yeah. Back here, yeah. We got too much stuff. We have to move <laughs> <laughs> You're, you're expanding. <laughs> yeah, the boxes expanding. just take up so much space, they eh? Do. Yeah. That's awesome. Well, thank you for showing me around the you're store. Um, I I was going to do interview questions, but I feel like I asked most yes. of them while we were so, while walking we were around. around. Yeah. So, yeah, I'll probably shop a little bit. Probably yes, pick up a figure or two. Yes. Take a gun. Yeah. Thank you so much for your you're time. Welcome. Thank you for coming in. So, yeah. <laughs> Perfect. All right, we have successfully acquired some figures. So I am going to enjoy the rest of my trip in Vancouver with my mom, who is a star f f filmmaker, filmographer, I don't know, <laughs> video taker today. We're gonna enjoy the rest of our trip and then uh, I will unbox this figure when I get home and then post this video for all of you. So I hope you guys enjoyed this kind of more vlog style video. I thought it was pretty fun actually. I hope you guys enjoyed it too. All right, everyone, I have returned to Edmonton. I am back home and I have a few items to unbox because of course I can't go to a figure shop without picking up at least one thing, right? <laughs> so I have a couple items here to pick up that I got from Hobby Bee that I did show in the previous clips. Um, I just want to give a huge thanks to Hobby Bee again. I had so, so much fun filming this video. I thought it was just like such a good time. And also I don't, get out much to do my videos <laughs> so it was really fun to kind of mix it up and actually be in person with someone like it was it was really fun i was a little bit nervous but i think the video went well i hope you all enjoy it uh, but yeah let's unbox the items that i picked up so i'll show you guys what i picked up from hobby b so the first thing is the spiritail sakura miku i thought it just in time for a sakura season hence the matching sweater uh, i'd pick up this gorgeous miku i've wanted her for ages i've wanted a scale sakura miku for ages and i feel like this is really the only one um, and it's so pretty so this was one, i think one of the first figures spear tail ever put out i did recently order their new miku that they just put out for pre-order though um where she's like a queen i am beyond excited for that miku so anyway very excited to unbox this one today uh, i also picked up the hatsune miku empty sakai version nendoroid so here it is very nice. It's such a cute Miku. I love this design. I hope one day we get a scale of this Miku design, but for the time being, I thought this Nendoroid was so cute. I love the little cat's cradle pose that she does. So I picked this Nendoroid up as well. And then as a thanks, they also threw in this cute Hobby Bee acrylic stand. So this is their main mascot. And they definitely told me her name and I forget it already. Uh, I'll put it on the screen though, but it's such a cute little acrylic stand. Let's open it up. But yeah, I had so much fun meeting the Hobby Bee team. So here it is. Can you see? Hopefully it's in focus. Very, very cool. Uh, but I had so much fun meeting the Hobby Bee team, meeting Mary, meeting Inez. It was just, it was super fun. I had a great time. And I also had fun in Vancouver. It was a nice little just like weekend getaway with my mom. Yeah, we had a, we had a very nice time. But, ah, oh, this, this is such a cute acrylic stand, aw. I love when I get acrylic stands from like shops or people that send me them because I just feel like that's such a cool piece to have. It's like almost a figure, you know? And it's really, really sweet when the companies and stuff I work with uh, send them to me. So, I love her. I will display her on my desk because she's just such a cute little mascot. Let's open up the scale first because I hate opening Nendoroids. So, and I've been itching to open this up. I got back like uh, a week ago, almost now and I still haven't opened her, so I'm very excited. So open up this Spiritel Miku. I really like the clear box. Um, I love clear plastic boxes. Um, I know some people don't love them, but I do. I honestly prefer them to cardboard because like they are less likely to get water damaged and stuff, which I like. And I actually did have a figure box come soaking wet from Ami Ami once. And because it had the Alter Shinobu who has an all plastic box inside, the box didn't get damaged at all because it it's essentially waterproof. So pulling her out, she's quite heavy actually. Here is the Miku in the blister pack. Um, I love the design of this Miku. I think she's so pretty. She's quite large too. Like it was fun to see her in real life. You guys could see me geeking out in the previous footage. <laughs> Ooh, she's beautiful. So she has a chair. 
or her chair. Uh, her branch that she sits on, the little cherry blossom tree. So gorgeous. I might display her on my desk, actually, for cherry blossom season. Um, and then her twin tails are taped up. So Spiritail, I believe, is an offshoot of Taito, who make a lot of the prize figures. This is their, like, scale figure line. Um, and I love Taito prize figures, so I'm not surprised that I also love a lot of their scales that they do. I think this Miku is probably their weakest scale of all the scales that they've made that I've seen release. Um, and she still looks really, really great. So I am so impressed. I love their use of pearlescent paint on her. Her hair is really pretty. I think her hair does come off a little bit prize figure-y uh, for the price that she costs, but I mean, it's still really pretty and really well shaded and done. Better than a prize figure. It just, the clear ends, I think, are kind of a, a hallmark of prize figures. And when done like this, they can look a little bit prize figure-y, but the figure itself is gorgeous. The shading on her is beautiful. Love the use of pearlescent paint. I love the pose. The sculpt is gorgeous. Her nails are even painted. And I love, love, love this Miku's face. So I think if you're looking for a Sakura Miku to add to your collection like I was, I think this is the one to get. Unless you're fine with a prize, which I probably also would have been. I just think that this, this one is so pretty. Um, I feel like she could also be like a noodle stopper if you didn't want to put her on the tree. But the tree is really well sculpted and pretty, so I would definitely recommend putting her on. So she doesn't actually stick to the tree anywhere. Her foot is what sticks, so there's like a peg in the tree. So I think I just pop her on like this. I'm just trying to push her foot all the way in on the peg, but it does not want to go. But I think that's close enough. So yeah, her foot just attaches with a peg like right there, and then she just sits on the tree. So here she is. I'll add some B-roll, of course. She looks gorgeous. I really, really love this figure. She just has so much presence. Oh my god. Okay, wait, I love it so much more than I even thought I would. <sighs> Yay! I'm so happy I picked this one. I almost picked the, um, well, first of all, I almost picked the bunny, the, um, Uruuru bunny. I was very, very close to picking her. My mom wanted me to get that one. And then I also really loved the birthday Miku on the cake, but in the end, this one fit in my luggage best um, to bring home. And then also I just, I love the Sakura Miku. I've wanted a Sakura Miku for ages. So I ended up going with this one and I'm very happy I did. And because she was a bit less expensive than the other two that I had my eye on, I also picked up an Enderoid. So let's unbox this lonely Sakai Miku now, or empty Sakai, sorry. I know there's like a Dolphy, I think, of this Miku, and she's so pretty. I love that Dolphy. But, alas, we only get this one. <laughs> do, do, do. I have a weakness. You know how I always say I hate Nendoroids? Well, I have a weakness for um, Miku Nendoroids. They don't count, okay? <laughs> They're too cute. Alright, I think I'll display this one with the little smiley face. Oh, she's so cute. I love the shading on her hair. Ah, so adorable. Okay, okay. Let me just rip off all of the plastic. And then I will show you guys how cute this Miku looks. Oh, her one bow is undone. Oh, BB. <laughs> now, this game comes from Project... Oh, no. Colorful Sakai. I honestly don't know. Um... A lot about the Miku games. I listen to Miku music a ton, but I don't know a lot about all of the different games that Miku comes in, so um, yeah. <laughs> so don't kill me, okay? I listen to Hatsune Miku a ton, but I do not know exactly what this design is from. Uh, but here she is. Look at how adorable! Ah! I love her shading. I love everything about her. She is so cute. She is a worthy... Um, what is it, like, exception, that's the word I'm looking for, exception to my um, known androids rule, okay guys? Okay, yeah, this is a very Miku haul. I don't know, I've been on a real Miku kick lately, been listening to lots of Vocaloid music, I'm working on a Miku, or like a Vocaloid-based cosplay right now, and just, I don't know, I've been enjoying it a lot. So, did I put this on upside down? No, I don't think so. Ugh, every time I pose an android, I realize once again why I don't like Nendoroids, you know? You know, like I forget. I forget for a bit and then I'm like, maybe I could buy an Nendoroid again. And then I buy one and I try to pose it and I'm like, ugh, just go together. 
I don't know how you Nendoroid collectors do it. I, I really just don't understand. Oh my god, her arms don't stay with the hands. Okay, um, maybe we won't be doing this arm pose for her because I don't have all the patience in the world. Oh, frick. Every time I get one hand to work, then her other hand doesn't work. Aww, it's really cute. Okay, yeah, I'm really, really pleased with this purchase. Uh, even though I hate Nendoroids, this Miku is super cute. Whoa, oh my god. And then I drop her and break her. <laughs> no, but she's super cute. I'm very, very happy I picked her up. I had a wonderful, wonderful time at Hobby Bee and in Vancouver. So thanks again, Hobby Bee, for working with me. And actually, they have provided me with a coupon. So if you use the link in the description and you use the code GWENBEE at checkout, you can get $5 off a 100 plus order and help support Gwen Collects. So thank you so much to Hobby Bee for working with me once again. Highly, highly recommend them. They are my favorite Canadian figure shop. So yeah, thanks again to Hobby Bee. Thanks, thank you all for watching and thank you to all of my uh, supporters over on Patreon. And an even bigger thank you to all of my Chica tier patrons over on Patreon. Remember June, Zen Nezu, Melinda, Gregory, CJ, JP, Luca, Styrak, Retro Richie, and Leon Blade. Thank you all so much for your support. As always, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye! <laughs>